welcome back, OALA. News is a bit mad at the moment, isn't it? Yes, uh, lots of weird, strange things going on um, regarding Russian spies and stuff. <laughs> Um, but you know what do I know about that? <laughs> Nothing really. So, and um, what can I do about it? <laughs> Even less. So, hi. Okay. Anyway, what I have been doing is listening to a bit of music, and also uh, some friends and acquaintances have released some music that I think you should know about. So, one person that I wanted to mention is uh, the artist Caitlin Scarlett. Uh, she is uh, a London-based. Uh, female musician and singer um, and I heard about her first when I was working for Sony Music back in 2014 which sounds possibly more impressive than it actually was but still um, I always thought she had quite a unique voice and I really liked her approach to songwriting. Um, she has dropped her new single Ornaments uh, and the video out accompanying that uh, is also on YouTube for you to see. So uh, definitely check out Caitlin Scarlet Ornaments. Um, she's a tip of mine to uh, to do big things in the future, and I wish her all the best of luck. Yeah, I wonder what it's like having a different state of mind to mind. People live like ornaments and shops I can't afford to win. I observe them in their way. All the beauty and the sin. I keep my hands in to myself. I don't touch, I don't love. Another band I've been listening to are called Agony Aunt. They are out of Brighton uh, and they consist of uh, Gary Ye and Charles Stanley, aka Big Yachty. Um, they're bringing some uh, noisy, noisy punk music that is really fun to uh, uh, blow off a little bit of steam to. When I listen to it, I like to think that I'd be good at skateboarding in some kind of gnarly bowl, concrete bowl, and doing some good shit that I'm not capable of doing. But it's nice to fantasize to that shit while listening to some banging punk music. So Agony Aunt, you can get their stuff on their band camp, which is in the link below. Agony Aunt are good listen. <laughs> So checked out a channel on YouTube that kind of just popped up um, relating to things that I watch in general anyway, um, called London Real. Uh, that's London R-E-A-L. Um, and it's run by, from what I can see, like this American guy. I've only watched one of the videos. Um, but it uh, seems to have some interesting people that he has on the show, which is in like a podcast format. Um, he has a Carla on there. Um, and the one in particular that I watched um, <clears throat> was with Loki, who is a, uh, or was, I suppose, a British hip-hop artist. Um, but he also lived very near the Grenfell tragedy um, that occurred. And it's really, really interesting to hear his take on it. Um, and he seems to have uh, a hell of a lot more information about it than, than any other kind of news source that I've seen cover it. Curiosity is your greatest gift. Foster that curiosity and eternally remain curious. But, uh, he makes some very interesting points um, about how the tragedy came about, how it could have been prevented, and obviously the repercussions of that tragedy as well. Um, I think it's very, very important to kind of find out the facts when it comes to these things. And, and you know, there are definitely people um, that that are seemingly responsible for, for that happening. And uh, I think if we don't see them come to justice, then it's going to be uh, an extremely sad thing. Now back up, put the gun down, and give me a pack of tropical fruit bubblicious. Anyway, take care of yourselves, and um, you know, don't be afraid to give yourself a cuddle now and again, or get someone else to. Bye.